السلام عليكم today ان شاء الله i will talk about this article dynamic navigation a laboratory study on the accuracy and potential use of guided root canal treatment this done by Torres and his colleague they are a group from belgium and sweden and published in the international Atlantic journal 2021 Starting with the aim of the study uh, is to evaluate 3D accuracy and outcome of a dynamic navigation method for guided root canal treatment of severe pulp canal obliteration in 3D printed jaws. Moving to the material method, uh, three operators with different level of experience in endodontics uh, perform navigated access cavities using the Navident system after training on the system uh, in two sets of maxillary and mandibular 3D printed jaws models with teeth presenting severe pulp canal obliteration. The model were mounted on a phantom to mimic a real clinical situation. Uh, after treatment, uh, a post-operative high-resolution cone beam uh, uh, computer tomography scan was taken for each model and registered to the pre-operative model. All access cavities were then segmented using the three Matic medical software length and volume of each access cavity were measured and a comparison was done by measuring the distance deviation in millimeters at the coronal entry point, apical point, vertical deviation, total deviation, and angular deviation of the axis cavity in comparison with the virtual planning. Additionally, all axis cavity were scouted with a size 10K file and inspected on the CBCT to confirm that the canal was located. A descriptive statistic for each parameter were performed later. Moving to the uh, results. Uh, as I mentioned after uh, training, uh, a total of 132 teeth and 168 access cavities uh, 56 per each operator was prepared all operators located a total of 156 canal obtaining an overall success of 93 percent without difference between operator experience uh, the main deviation at the apical point was 0 0.63 millimeter and was significantly lower in anterior teeth in comparison with molars. The main angular deviation from the planning was 2.8 degrees. In conclusion, dynamic navigation was an accurate approach for root canal treatment in teeth with severely calcified canals. However, the technique has a learning curve and require extensive training period to its use clinically and thank you